There's been a lot of talk in the research literature about the fact that assessment processes are introduced without organisations thinking of their impact. And in particular of their impact against the five areas that several assessment have shown predict the effectiveness of an assessment process. These areas are quality, so is the assessment process identifying candidates who are best suited for the role? Engagement, are candidates saying good things about the process and staying in the process to the end? Efficiency, are you assessing candidates using as little organisation and candidate resource as possible to get a robust outcome? Cost, what does your assessment process cost? And diversity and inclusion, so we know a huge amount of good work goes to create a diverse pipeline, is anything happening in the assessment process to erode that good work? We didn't think this needed to be the case. We think you can work with your client organisations and stakeholders to introduce assessments in a way that makes sure they're having a positive impact on your candidates against all five of these key areas. We worked with our client, who is a major retailer in the UK, in a different way. So firstly, we identified upfront objectives against each of the five areas I've just explored to show that an assessment process has been effective. Secondly, we designed an assessment process that we were very confident would achieve against all of these five objectives. We then moved into the trial phase. So the assessment was trialed for a period of three months where it was introduced and we were closely monitoring how it performed against each of these five critical areas. And only once we were able to build up a case to show that the assessment had had a really positive impact in the organisation, did we fully launch it and make it live for all of the candidates applying to that role. This approach meant the clients could be completely confident in the assessment process they were introducing. They would have the confidence that it was achieving against all five areas that we have shown are really critical in assessing the effectiveness of an assessment process.